I was recently asked, how would I add a debossed leather logo to a headrest of a seat and then add embroidery inside of it? So this is what I came up with. What this is is a multi-pass material where there's two materials. The first is just brown leather with a debossed logo. And part of the request was that the leather goes down into the lower area and we're able to control the size of the leather without affecting the logo. So that's what we have here. So if I change the size, if I rotate the leather, you can see that it goes through the logo area. So this was the request. And then we add the decal on top, and that creates the stitching. And you'll notice that the stitching is actually down inside the debossed area. So let me show you how I did this. In Photoshop I've created two files. One is the stitch logo, and the second is a blurry outlined version of the depressed area. So to create this, let's start with the decal. So we find our stitches, drag and drop, place it on our part. Press the Add Decal checkbox, and you'll notice there's a little arrow, which means if I click and hold, we'll get a pop-up. That allows me to switch it to Use as Opacity Map. Hit OK, and instantly the manipulator appears, so I can scale this down and place the decal where I want it. That looks good. Now we're ready to go. Now a decal is just a plastic material that has a transparency map. So what we're going to do is under the displacement map, we're now going to add a texture. So I can click the picture of a folder, and now I'm going to add in my bump map. Hit OK, and let's put negative 1. So you can see that the center of the letters went in, but it didn't depress the leather, which is fine. So if I actually turn off the transparency map, you can see what we've created. So we have a displacement map. Now I can adjust and control the depth of the bump. At this point, let's turn the transparency back on. We're going to duplicate this material because we are going to recreate the leather. So we'll have the leather and the stitching on top of each other. So if I if, I, if you shift click on a part that has a multi-pass material, the multi-pass material will then show up here. If I want to select this material on its own, I can right click and hit select and it will jump to the correct logo. So let's call this James Stitch. And I'm going to make a copy of it. Edit, duplicate. And I'm going to rename this one James bump. So let's just apply James bump to the part. And you can see that when I apply a transparency map part, a uh, material to a part, we just get the name floating. And that's what I want because on the bump I actually want to turn off the transparency map. So now I only see the bump area. If I wanted to copy this leather over to here, at this point, the best way to do it is to click on it, uh, go up to the color, and I'm just going to sort of copy some of the settings. If I click on the color, you can store this color by hitting the Store Color button, and it's stored it. So now I can hit Accept. If I go back to here, I can click on the, I can click here, choose the that brown, hit Accept. 
Again, if I go back to this one, I can go to the texture, triple click and hit copy. So I've copied that texture location. I can click over here. I can say use diffuse texture. And before I do this, this is very important, I need to turn off this linking texture button. The link texture button is what keeps when you uh, modify one texture, it, it changes them for all the other places that the all the other textures. So that way if I make the bump map larger, the glossy map gets larger, and the diffuse map gets larger. So that checkbox, we want to turn that off. But we only want to turn it off on the displacement of the bump. Everything else we're now going to have linked together. So on the diffuse texture, I can hit paste. And you can see that it's pasted it, but it only pasted part of it. That's because this was set to a planar decal. I want to switch this to a UV and not a decal. I want to put repeat. So now I have the texture ability to edit the texture. And to do that, if I click, if you click on something, you can you get your choice. So I want to do the diffuse texture. So now I can scale that. And rotate it. Or I can actually type the numbers in here. Either way. And remember it was 15, 15, and 90. So that's what it was before. So you can see that I don't have the, the bump or the glossy. So now, again, triple click, copy. Go to the bump, hit use texture, paste. So now I have the bump map of the leather, so I can start messing with that and give it a little little bump, not too much. And on the glossy map, again I can add in the glossy map, hit enter. So now I've recreated that leather. Now the final step is to take my stitches, right click, drag it on. And when you when you use the right mouse button and drag a material on it, you get this option to add the material. Add material as a multi-pass. So now I've added the stitching on top of my bump. Now let's add just one more level of detail to those stitches. So even though we have some actual modeled stitches over here that was created in Alias using the Stitch and Seam tool, I want to give just my little decal a little bit of displacement. So that's the James stitch. We are already using the displacement to push the stitches in, so we can use that transparency map, triple click, copy, and add that as a bump map. So now if I bump the stitches, you can see I give it a little bit of height. And I could go up to the color and make it a little bit more white. So there you have it. Pretty quick and easy way to add a debossed embroidered logo to my headrest.